<laughs> I'm so stressed out. Freddie, sit. Sit. There we go. Freddie, no, no, no. However, I'm electing to ignore you. I'm starting with the last. So what are you going to do about it? We're reporting it. Are you going to arrest me? Welcome back to my channel. So today is the first daily vlog for The Reading Rush and I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited but I'm terrified of daily vlogging. However, I think we've got this in the bag. We've got this in the bag. We've got this. We're gonna be fine. Today is just like let's just get as into this as we can. Let's just have a great day. Let's read a shit ton. And then every other day, hopefully this week, I'll be doing some kind of activity. So I think I'll be baking brownies tomorrow. I'll be going to the beach on Wednesday to get you excited. <laughs> oh, y'all wanted a twist, eh? Come on. Reading Rush Vlogs. Let's get sick, me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, bitch, work. I am gonna have a little bit of a book haul and like a book related item haul in this video though. I'm really, I can see the parcels, they arrived yesterday and I've been waiting to open them. So we'll do that a little bit later. These videos aren't going to be as heavily edited, <laughs> although I've probably done some heavy editing in this intro, but like going forward, there'll be a lot of times I need to just cut shit together to get it out. So as long as you're okay with that, we're okay with that. You know, not as many memes, not as many like zoom ins. So let's quickly go through my TBR again. I do have a whole video on it. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be reading The Last by Hannah Jameson. This is for the first two prompts, which are read a book that, with a cover that matches your birthstone. Mine is Garnet, which is red and blue, and read a book beginning with the. Then, number three, read a book that inspired a movie you've already seen. I'm gonna be reading Anger Songs and Full Frontal Snogging based on the British cult classic. Oh no, that the British cult classic movie is based off of. I'm gonna be reading A Song Below Water for Read the First Book You Touch. You would have seen me already actually start that. I'm only 3% in, I've literally listened to a chapter, but it's good so far, but I don't have like enough thoughts or have listened to enough to tell you anything really. Then to read a book completely outside of your house and read a book in a genre you always want to read more of, I'm gonna be reading Helps if I've got it the right way up. Bloom by Kevin Panetta and Savannah Ganucho. For the last prompt, which is read a book that takes place on a different continent than where you live, I'm gonna be reading My Sister the Serial Killer. I'm so excited. This is my first time daily vlogging The Reading Rush, so I'm really glad that you're all coming with me. I've had a massive influx of people over the past couple days and it's been pretty crazy. So I feel like it's come at the perfect time for us all to enjoy The Reading Rush together. I did do a poll on my Instagram, I did two polls between the two audiobooks and my two physical books that aren't in the graphic novel. And for the audiobook I'm listening to you, A Song Below Water won. But for the physical book, you all voted for me to start My Sister the Serial Killer first. This is the much more hyped out of the two. It's a very popular book and it's super short. It's only 240 pages. However, I'm electing to ignore you. I'm starting with the last. So what are you gonna do about it? We're reporting it. Are you gonna arrest me? Are you we gonna give that. me a ticket? We don't do that. So this is a like murder mystery where a nuclear war has happened and there are 20 survivors in this Swiss hotel and a body turns up. I've, I've actually, to tell you the truth, I've sat here and I've read the first 14 pages in like two minutes. It is such a quick start. It's so engrossing at the beginning. People have already died by suicide at the beginning because they can't like, they don't wanna live in a world where a nuclear war is happening and they may be the only survivors and they're completely cut off from society. But I think a body turns up that has been obviously murdered. So my aim today is to get, I would say at least halfway through this. I think that's really reasonable. You can come up on the sofa if you want. Come say hello. Come here. Come on, get a good bit. I am also going to try this whole week to do all the Instagram challenges. And so the first one today is recreate a book cover. So we'll do that in a little bit as well. I'm going to go start the book and then we'll do stuff like the book haul and the Instagram challenge. So 
So I am 100 pages into the last. So for some reason going into this, I didn't realize how terrifying like a nuclear war is. Dum dum. <laughs> Just things you don't think about, like how they have to find some way to carry on with normal life. But you know that probably all of your family are dead. You know that the world is pretty much over. It's a really cool setting for the book to be in for the thriller to be in because i've never really read anything like it before and so i'm really enjoying that aspect of it i don't know if it's going to be a murder mystery because my impression before coming into this was that someone is murdered and they know that it's happened in the past couple of days but actually what happened what happens is that a little girl is found in one of the water tanks on top of the hotel which obviously she couldn't have got into it by herself because you have to lift these heavy lids they think that she died around the time of the nuclear attack and so it could be someone who's left the hotel but they know what child she is now they know who her parents are they've supposedly left and so i don't know if the story is just going to go down a different route and the murder like isn't actually going to play a big role but i'm really enjoying it so far hey. <laughs> success oh another thing i would say is that okay so i told you i think i told you maybe just in my tbr video that it's in diary entry so like it's day 12 day 40 or whatever and so we're reading from this guy's point of view and our and our author is is female whereas the the guy narrator is like the most stereotypical male author you've ever heard like the way he describes women the way he describes certain events is like very very male and i think it was like a purposeful decision because then some characters call him out on it and it, i'm not hating it but it does feel a bit surface level like she's gone oh he's gonna be the most like obno not obnoxious but just like privileged white man we haven't had anything yet other than the body being found that's really spurring the story on let him in Come on. He wants to come say hello. <laughs> see, they can't even see him. <laughs> no, Sorry, for barking, Sorry for barking, he says. Sorry for barking. <laughs> so now I've got some bookish mail to open. So the first thing I've had for a couple of days, and I've been waiting until now to open it, but let me cover up my address. Isn't that cute how she wrote my name? It's so cute. So this is from Sabine, from Sabine's Book Nook. It is from her store and it is her bookmarks. And I ordered two of them and I'm so excited for, to open them. I haven't had a bookmark I loved for such a long time and I'm just so excited to see these in the flesh. Oh my God. Oh my God, even the bookmark is wrapped. Oh my God, they're so nice. She sent me a third one that I didn't order. You didn't order this one, did you? No, I didn't order that one. Isn't that so lovely? Don't you love oh, them? Super cool. So these are the two I bought. Let me focus it in on them. Aren't they so cute? I don't know which one I'm going to use first. I think I'll use this one first, but they are both so lovely. And then this is the one that she sent me that I didn't order, which is so lovely of her. So then we've got two book packages. <laughs> From Waterstones, I ordered Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reid. This is one that has just come out quite recently. And it is also the group book club read for the readathon, for the reading rush. I don't think I'm going to get around to this just because I don't know if it will fulfill any of the prompts for me. All I know about this is that it is about a black woman who is babysitting a child, looking after a child. She gets like arrested or apprehended because people assume that she kidnapped the child. And the mum of the child is like a blogger who tries to make everything better but she ends up making everything worse that's all i really know about it but it's been one that's been like heavily pushed okay the sun was too bright just like one of the most popular books that's come out recently and i've heard that it kind of like delves in privilege and um, racism and stuff like that so i'm excited to get to this when i do and then i'm not 100 percent sure what this next parcel is but i think i know oh my god i have sweets <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm for that. I'm all for that. All right, girl. This is Milkshakes for the Almost Dead by Lulu Wood. From what I know, this is a YA book. I love this cover. Oh, my, my ears just like went. I love this cover. I think it's such a nice, like, colourful colour. It's kind of like a young adult horror or mystery where one of the i think the main character moves into this tiny seaside town and she meets another girl there and they become friends and then they find out that there is something really ominous in the town and 
yeah, I'm just really, really excited to get to this one. The author did send this to me. Full disclosure, she is my dad's cousin, but she has been reaching out to loads of bookstagrammers and booktubers and sending them the book. I'm really excited to get to it and the cover just looks so good in person. I'm gonna go have some lunch, edit some of this video and then I will read a bit more and we'll do the Instagram challenge in a bit. So we're currently doing the Instagram challenge of the day, which is to recreate a book cover. And we're trying to decide which of these to recreate. Blue skirt. So for the two, what would you call your ones, Tom? Got antlers and... Cones. Cones. Cone heads. That's <laughs> <laughs> not the finished article yet. We're gonna find some flowers to sellotape in between your fingers. Three fit flowers, sellotape them in between your fingers. You'll put your hand on Freddie's head. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's clever, that's clever. <laughs> I hope you're having fun. <laughs> oh, he's in the wrong spot. <laughs> Scoot your bum over, mate. <laughs> Pretty sit, sit. Oh. There we go. <laughs> so it is now the evening and I'm now 200 pages into the last which is where I said like bare minimum I wanted to get to today it's just over halfway so I'm really happy with my progress in that. Shit is starting to go down. It's a slow book but a fast book at the same time. Like you read it very fast but the shifts in tension and like things happening that make you feel a lot more nervous are like very subtle, you know? Like it's a very kind of subtle build in tension for the characters and you really have to pay attention to like how the power dynamics shift and what that means. I'm fucking scared. <laughs> what was that? It was scary. It, it was scary. It was really scary. Nuclear war is fucking scary. Who knew? <laughs> I mean, I've said before I love when you have an isolated cast of characters in my thrillers. Like, that's always what I love. But you are, like, this is beyond isolated because you may be the only living people left in the world and you have no idea who could be out there. Like, you have no clue. This is isolation beyond anything I've ever known or read. The thing about this book is, is that normally when you have that in a thriller, at least the ones I've read, you have like six main characters. Whereas in this, there's like 19, 20 people left this hotel. And there's quite, we've gotten to know quite a few of them in some capacity. There's not many, I'd say there's maybe two that we know on like a much deeper level than any of the others. And so it really could be anyone who is behind the occurrences that are going on or a group of people, but it's starting to feel like, there could be, this is just me theorizing, but it's such like there could be like a lot of people at fault possibly, but I don't know how that would happen because these people don't know each other. So I'm scared, <laughs> I'm really scared, but I'm really enjoying it so far. I don't think it's gonna be a five star. There's just something about, just something about the book. It just doesn't feel like a five star, but at the moment I'd say it's a four star. I, I wanna read at least another 50. Like I think I can do that tonight. I really don't know who to trust. Like I have I have no theories, but it's kind of being revealed to us. But I'm like, is that the truth or are you tricking me? I feel I need to use that mastermind clip again, but that's really like not the truth right now. I'm not a mastermind. I'm so dumb. See, I'm telling you, I have a mind of a master, master. I have a mind of a master. My what's that? Okay, I'm gonna go read some more. Hopefully this evening. Hopefully this isn't the last time we see each other. It won't be. I'll see you again. I'm getting ready to see you again. Is that enough? Is that enough? It's not enough, is it? <laughs> A little bit more. <laughs> right there, please. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Apologies, I know I look a bit crusty, dusty, 
musty. I did read another 50 pages. So I'm on page 250. I've only got 140 pages left to go tomorrow. So I'll hopefully finish this tomorrow morning. <laughs> I'm so stressed out. I'm so, it, when I said shit was starting to hit the fan, it, it, it's really doing that now. <laughs> Stuff just keeps happening, keeps going wrong. There's this sense of like hallucination or just like deliriousness under everything because of the just like extremely ridiculous situation they all find themselves in. They are all in a, set, in a, in a state of grief, essentially. They are all in shock. They all have like certain things they can't fully remember or things that they get confused by and so like you're constantly trying to figure out like what's the truth what's going on but it's becoming clear people are lying people are not telling the truth which when you are stuck with just these 19 people and your life basically rests in their hands that is not good <laughs> i'm really excited to finish this tomorrow i've loved today i feel like we've had a great first day of the reading rush the momentum will dip i feel like i feel like it's unrealistic to think that this will just be great the entire time i will see you tomorrow thank you so much for watching the first day i hope you've enjoyed it and i hope the reading rush is going really well for you if you're participating if not i hope you're enjoying watching all the content and yeah, see you tomorrow when I'm more awake. <laughs> Bye.